Blessed Redeemer, your glory fills the earth. Everlasting Father, the one who watches me, I put my confidence in Jehovah Shammah. wangu na kusalimia katika upendo wa Kristo Yesu asubuhi ya leo nikikualika katika mtandao huu wetu wa uh, Facebook live nikikukaribisha ili tuweze kukutana nawe uh, hewani ili tusemezane neno la Mungu kama vile Bwana ameliweka ndani ya mioyo yetu ni mzima ni heli ni heli wa afya Bwana amenidumisha katika wokovu na ninafurahia neema hiyo kwa sababu ya upendo wake ningari nimesimama na bado ninajua ya kwamba ataniwezesha kusimama kwa sababu neema na nguvu zake nazitegemea katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ninajua hata wewe amekurinda amekuhifadhi neema yake bado ijuu yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa karibu sana katika kipindi hiki cha siku ya leo kiwa ni Jumapili jema ambayo Bwana ameifanya Every day we have a reason and uh, to celebrate before the Lord because we are still alive as long as we are alive tutampa bwana utukufu tutampa bwana sifa na heshima kwa sababu zote ni zake katika jina la Yesu Kristo e ni Mungu wa walio hai na kwa hivyo kila kiumbe kilicho hai kimtukuze bwana kimpe sifa kwa sababu anastahili katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuombe pamoja ili tupate kuanza ibada ya siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu mtakatifu Mungu mwenye enzi Mungu wa rehema zote twakushukuru asubuhi ya leo katika Jumapili hii njema ambao bwana umeifanya Mungu wa haki ili tufurahie ili tukupe sifa ili tukupe utukufu heshima na mamlaka ni zako bwana asubuhi ya leo tuunganika katika kipindi hiki bwana pamoja na mtazamaji uh, wetu bwana tumweka mikononi mwako nasi tujiweka mikononi mwako ili bwana utuongoze utuelekeze na yale ambayo umeweka ndani yetu yafikie mtazamaji wetu na msikilizaji wetu bwana ili abarikiwe ili ainuliwe ili atiwe nguvu na neno lako katika jina la Yesu Kristo neno lako lipitapo bwana usikubali limpite lakini liwe msaada liwe manufaa katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana tuomba kipindi hicho bwana utuelekeze maana twasema pasipo wewe pasipo la mtakatifu ni bure hatuwezi Mungu wa haki kwa hivyo tuomba neema ya bingu tuomba kufunikwa na uwepo wako na nguvu zako ili utuelekeze useni wetu bwana mambo yetu bwana yote Mungu tuaweka mikononi mwako tuongoze na utubariki bwana na tumalizapo hapa tujue ya kwamba kuna kitu kipya kuna jambo jema ambalo utakuwa umenitenda juu ya maisha yetu na mtazamaji katika jina la Yesu Kristo tushukuru na nasi bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuomba na tushukuru Amen. Amen. Karibu tena, karibu tena nikwambie wewe ni wa maana, wewe ni wa thamana, wewe ni heri kwa sababu wewe si kama wale ambao tayari wameondoka katika dunia hii. Bwana bado ana nafasi yako, ana sehemu yako. Kwa hivyo jitie moyo, jitie nguvu asubuhi ya leo. Na wewe ni sehemu yetu kwa sababu umekubali kusikia na kuandamana nasi ili tukuletee neno la Mungu katika jina la Yesu. We are not special than others in any way, but is zone by the favor of God and what the Lord has anointed us to bring this word of God to you so that we don't count ourselves as uh, as uh, different from others ama uh, ka, katikati ya wengi lakini twajua ni kibari tu na neema ya Mungu ili tuandamane pamoja na wewe nikukaribishe katika session kidogo ya worship tunapoabudu Bwana kwa wimbo moja na tuingie ili tuingie katika
katika neno la Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Karibu sana ni wakati wa kuabudu. Kwa hivyo simama pamoja nasi ukiwa katika nyumba, ukiwa mahali popote ulipo kwa sababu najua wengi ya wako makazini, wako nyumbani, mahali ulipo. Jitenge tu kidogo, tumwabudu Bwana, tumpe sifa na utukufu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na ili tuandamane pamoja katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Tupate wimbo mmoja ama mbili. Tumwabudu Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory Jesus.
And this is their vindication from me, the creator of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Say uh, amen, my viewer, whoever you are. And this is the word of God that I want to leave it to you as I usher in the man of God to continue with the session of art. And I know you know this word very much, and it, it is like a memory verse to us. But I want you to add, add, add this, I want this word to be new this morning to you. And you, read, you look at, uh, at it in a different angle and dimension. Not as you, we, we have been used to uh, memorizing it and saying there is no, no weapon fashion again in me, I shall prosper. Ah, in the name of Jesus, as if it's like a joke, as if it is something that we are used to. But today, this morning, they want us to look at it uh, full of power, full of authority, that the Lord, uh, uh, through Isaiah, spoke this word. And the Bible says in verse 16, See, it is I, the Lord says, It is whom, who created a brat me, who finds the call into frame, and forges a weapon fit for its battle. It is God who created that man. It is, a, it is God who created that man whom 
Hey, it is not our wonder, it is for our good. That even the curfew is continuing for 21 days. But our God knows he is able to provide to us. He is able to save God in the name of Jesus. See it for our good. That we shall come on the God of 42 days. That we have been. He is the same God of the 21 days. So do not lose hope. Many people lose their hope and feel that it is like a discouragement. No, it is not a discouragement. We shall make it together with God. So raise up your faith again and let it grow in the name of Jesus. And as much as the, uh, this one that says, as much as the nails of your hand, how much, however, you cut them every day, but they keep on growing. The same case with our heads, the hair of our head, how much you keep on shaving it, but it grows each and every day. That is how your faith ought to be. No matter what comes and cuts it down, no matter which reports you receive in each and every day, let your hope live a life in the name of Jesus. It is not a time to be discouraged, not that weapon that you feel it has been there for you. It is a time to cancel. It is a time to turn. We can redo it. We can make it in the name of Jesus. Because it is not about us. It is about our God in the name of Jesus. See it that no weapon formed against us. It shall prevail in the name of Jesus. And that is our inheritance. Mark it. It is our inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't see any other thing that is greater than inheritance. Many people fight for inheritance from their father, their biological father. And they end up killing each other because of inheritance. And the word of God says that protection, that favor, that protection from the weapon, it is your inheritance. Take it and receive it and go with us in that rock down. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is our God who is on our side and we shall not lose hope. Do not lose hope, my dear view. Keep hope alive for our God is together with us. So welcome again as we hear the word of God from the servant pastor Stephen Bangibaba and we are we are on air from HS7, full cost, uh, full cost of churches of Kenya. Between, uh, it is in uh, between Kenya and uh, Corporation. There is a state called HS7. I don't know the, what it means, but I know it is called HS7. That is where we are, and we are bringing it, uh, this word to you because we love you, because we value you, and we want you together with us that we make it to the other side of the tunnel in the name of Jesus. Welcome, man of God, as you share the word of God. Welcome. Asante. Asante sana. Nashukuru mungu. Nasema mungu wetu wa inuliwe sana kwa sababu ya kutupatia wakati mwingi. Kwa mungine, nashukuru kwa sababu ya nafasi ya mbao bada wetu wa metupa katika jina la Yesu. Kama vidi ambabe ya tumeambiwa, mimi ni mchungaji mwangi. Nachuka kanisa la kugusipo churches of Kenya hapa 87. Unapo elekea keno kama umetoka town. Na tuko hapa, tunamushukuru mungu katika jina la Yesu. Niko hapa kumuletea neno la Mungu na ninaleta neno la Mungu kama nimeokoka. Ninaleta neno la Mungu kama kama nimejazwa na roho na kwa hivyo nashukuru Mungu wetu kwa sababu ya nafasi hii. Nashukuru wa yeyote ambaye naye tutazama swa wa uh, shirika wetu wa kanisa hili la Progospo Churches of Kenya uh, 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 Churches of Kenya hapa 87 tunashukuru sana tuwapende sana tukali tunawaombea na tunaomba Mungu ya kwamba tusija tukapoteza hata mmoja wakati huu uh, kile ambacho tunaomba ni kwamba Mungu awe anatuongeza uh, kila wakati katika jina la Yesu na shukuru Mungu wetu ni kwa sababu ya nafasi hii ina muda mdogo sana wa kuleta neno la Mungu na inaamini ya kwamba utaweza kubarikiwa uh, tukiwa pamoja kama vile ambavyo uh, Mungu wetu amekusudia siku ya leo isema ya kwamba hudi uh, hudi wakati uh, ambao hatujawahi kufikiria kama uh, kama kama generation hii ya wakati huu kwa sababu hatujawahi fikiria kuna wakati ambao tulimewahi lala na tukafikiria kwamba tutakosa kwenda kanisani ka, uh, zaidi ya miezi miwili na kwa hivyo uh, tunaona ya kwamba jambo hili ni jambo gumu kwetu na vile ambavyo ninavyosema kila wakati ni kwamba uh, we can say that uh, uh, it is the the, the, the buildings ambazo zimekasilifungwa but churches and uh, the churches are not closed but I, I want to say 
uh, yes it is it can be true uh, 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 kwa njia nyingine lakini jambo la bao linasema ni kwamba kama vile uh, nimeona watu uh, uh, wa prison wosh kwa ametuongoza nikatamani wakati baba tumekuwa tukifika katika nyumba ya Mungu na kwa hiyo hiyo kile ambacho nataka ku insist ni kwamba hata kama buildings ndizo zimefungwa lakini nani can repress the worship and the corporate worship ambayo tumekuwa tukipeana kwa Mungu wetu nothing can repress the fellowship ambayo tumekuwa nayo ama tumetamani kuwa nayo katika nyumba ya Mungu watu wengi pengine watu wengine wakati huu ndio wana wanapata wana wakati wa kulala wanapata wakati lakini hakuna hakuna kitu ambacho tunapoteza kama kanisa wengine ambao sio wa kiroho kiro sana hawawezi ona but i want to say ya kwamba kama kanisa Mungu wetu anapaka kutukuingilia jambo hili sana kwa sababu tunapoteza mambo ya muhimu sana it is the book of hebrews ambayo inasema kwamba tukubaa tu, tusije tukasahau tusije tukakosa kukutana kama ilivyo desturi ya wengine wengine walikuwa wanakutana mbele zetu na walikuwa na Mungu eh, eh, ah, Mungu wa Biblia nasema ya kwamba Mungu akaambia ah, 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 Moses before when they were in the wilderness in the book of Exodus sio kila mahali ati ya kwamba Mungu anaabudiwa sio kila mahali lakini it was a praise that God designed it is a praise that God established na akasema ya kwamba hapo ndipo mtakuwa mkikutana nami nakutana pamoja nanyi neno linasema ya kwamba mahali wawili watatu wamekutanika Mungu yuko pamoja na wao Yesu yuko pamoja na wao so gathering gathering of, of God's people we cannot despise we can atuezi dhahau hatuezi kosa kuiona ni muhimu sana katika hata Biblia ina inasugumuza mambo yake lakini kwa sababu mambo yamekaa hivyo tunatamani jambo hili lirudi nyuma na tuone kana tuone ya kwamba tume tume tumerudi katika hali yetu ya kawaida na tayari nilikuwa nataka kuonyesha ya kwamba tuna mambo ambayo tunapoteza kama wakristo kuna mtu ambaye hana data kama hizi hana hana pesa hana data anachukulikia chakula ya tumbo hana wakati wa hana pesa ya kununua data ili aweze kufikiwa na ujumbe huu lakini ile ile hali ya, ya kukutana tunaitamani sana katika jina la Yesu. Leo leo kuletea neno la Mungu na siku ya leo nataka kusukumuza uh, kutoka katika kitabu cha uh, Revelation chapter number 3 and verses number 7 uh, to verse number 13. And uh, na mahali hapa tunaona um, um, uh, tunaona Yesu akisukumuza pamoja na makanisa, atasukumuzia makanisa samba na nataka kusukumuza kuhusu kanisa moja ambalo anasema ni kanisa ambayo ni uh, a faith church and uh, my, 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 my message is uh, the message to a, 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 a to a faith church ama a, ujumbe kwa kanisa ambalo ni kamilifu ambao ni, ni, ni kanisa limeaminika na, na kuna mambo ambayo amesugumuza kuhusu kanisa hili dafira kuhusu kanisa kuhusu kanisa hili dafira dafira ndevia na mambo mengi mazuri ameyasugumuzia ame kama vile ambavyo na kwa sababu ni ujumbe it is a message na me, na, na ujumbe ni ni ni, 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 ni inaweza kuwa ujumbe wa kuandikwa inaweza kuwa ujumbe kama huo ambao namtea wa wa wamasukumuzwa hapa kwa one on one lakini hawani maneno ambayo amesukumuzwa na 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 na, 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 na na anasukumuzia kanisa hili na anasema ya kwamba ni Yesu anasukumuza maneno haya na anaandika from verse na, uh, number, number 7 to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write this na kwa hivyo ujumbe huu umeandikiwa ume kanisa ambao nitakatifu na nataka kuonyesha katika ujumbe huu ambao Mungu amenipa ni kuonyesha kile ambacho kinahitajika kwetu wakati ambapo jana niliona watu wengi walikuwa natazamia ujumbe kutoka kwa rais na kwa hivyo watu wengi wali waliweka wali 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 neno na kiongozi kulingana na mamlaka yake na kulingana na mahali na, na kulingana na vile ambavyo amepatiwa heshima ujumbe wake unashikwa kwa 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 kwa, kwa, kwa gugu sana kwa uh, watu wanaoshika sana watu wanatembea ujumbe ule aliposema ya kwamba uh, uh, um, ameongeza munda wa kafyu kuna 
Hakuna mtu anaweza kataa hivyo ni kwa sababu mamlaka imesema hivyo. Aliposema ya kwamba watu wa ishiri, watu wa wa Mombasa sehemu ile ya Old Town waweze kukaa nyumbani. Waweze kutotoka katika miji yao. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kataa hivyo ni kwa sababu wanaelewa ni nani huyu amesukumuza. Na kama tunaweza amini ujumbe ule tunaweza na kufuata tunaweza amini ujumbe wa Mungu wetu ambaye anasukumuza pamoja na hasi na siku hizi ambazo ni za tabu siku hizi ambazo ni za shida Mungu wetu anaangalia moyo ambao ni mtakatifu moyo ambao ni mwaminifu mtu ambaye ni mwaminifu kanisa ambalo litakaa kwa uaminifu katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kwa hivyo anataka tusome maneno haya baadaye niweze kushare na wewe mambo machache na niweze kukuombea kwa sababu jambo ambalo ni kuu sana kwangu ni kukuombea wewe ambaye unayenisikiliza ni kukuombea wewe ambaye ni mshirika ambaye uko chini ya mafuta ambayo Mungu amenipaka katika jina la Yesu uh, uh, katika katika uh, uh, Revelation chapter number 3 in verses number 7 we read uh, and through verse number 14 uh, 13 we read in the NIV version and the bible says to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these are the ones of him who is holy and true who holds the key of david what he opens no one can shut and what he shuts no one can open i know your deeds see i have placed before you an open door that no one can shut i know i know that you have you have little strength yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name i will make those who are of the synagogue of satan who claim to uh, to be jews though they are not but arise i will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth. Verse 11, number 11, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take you Take your crown. Him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will he leave it. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on him my new name. He, he who has an ear, read him here, what the Spirit says to the churches. Not the church, but the Spirit says to the churches. It is not one church. This message was not for only the church of Philadelphia. It is also a message to us even today. And Kamra Ujumbe Hu wa Kanisa Hiri Hauja Wasirishwa. Who you abaya nae nena? kuhusu kanisa hili la Philadelphia amejitaburisha yeye ni nani na ili ujumbe wako uweze kukubalika japo la kwanza mtu anajieleza yeye ni nani kama haeleweki kama hajulikani japo la kwanza anajieleza yeye ni nani ili mjue mahali ambapo mamlaka yake imefika nguvu zake mahali zimefika uh, una, una, uh, anajieleza na anajitabulisha yeye ni nani na yeye anahusika na nini na yeye kasi yake ni gani na kwa hivyo huyu huyu ambaye anayesukumuza mambo haya kwanza katika mistari ya ya ya, ya, ya saba na ya nane amejitabulisha kwa kanisa hili na siku ya leo anajitabulisha kwetu ili tuweze kujua anahitaji nini kutoka kwetu na kabla hajaeleza mambo yale alitaka watu waelewe kama vile ambavyo anataka hata siku ya leo na inahisi ndani ya moyo wangu tukielewa ni nani huyu anasugumuza mambo haya sio kwa kanisa moja lakini kwa makanisa yote ambayo 
nia yamedunduliwa na damu ya Kristo Yesu. Na Yohana akajaribu sana kuelezea huyu ambaye amebeba ujumbe huu. Na anasema ya kwamba these are the ones of him. Haya ndio maneno ya yule anayeleta ujumbe huu. Hata kama ni mimi Yohana lakini kuna yule ambaye amenipa ujumbe huu. Hata kama ninahubiri ujumbe huu, kuna yule ambaye amenipa ujumbe huu. Niweze kuleta kwenu katika jina la Yesu. Na siku ya leo nataka ukamate maneno haya. Kama kuna kitu moja ambaye Mungu anaangalia, ni utakatifu kwa sababu yeye ni mtakatifu. And the nature of our God is righteousness. He is also faithful. He is looking for a church that is faithful starting from the pastor to the members of the church. Na kwa sababu hiyo anajitaburisha na sema ya kwamba huyu ambaye analeta maneno haya ambaye anaeleta neno maneno haya ni mtakatifu. He is holy. Yeye ni msafi. Yeye ni mtakatifu and true. Si mwongo. Yeye ni mtakatifu na jambo la pili ni wa kweli na kwa hivyo neno lake linaweza kukubarika. Hiyo ndio karata yake. Hiyo ndio tabia yake. He is holy. He is a true God. He is true. Yeye ni wa kweli. Anaendelea kusema ya kwamba not only he is holy and true. He is also he also holds the key of David. David was a king. And because David, David was a king, anaonyesha ya kwamba amekamata funguo. Na kwa hivyo yeye ni mfalme, anaweza kufungua sehemu zote za nyumba, anaweza kufungua sehemu zote za ufalme, anaweza kufungua sehemu zote za 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 za, za, za si. Na kwa hivyo amekamata, amebeba ufunguo. Na siku ya leo nataka kukuambia ya kwamba huyu ambaye alishika alikamata ambaye Yohana aliyemwona amekamata ufunguo. Hata siku ya leo anasukumusa nasi. Na anatuambia ya kwamba sio tu kuwa wa kweli, sio kuwa mtakatifu, amekamata ufunguo. Na siku ya leo kama kanisa tukiwa watakatifu anaweza ingia katika sehemu zote anaweza kufungua milango yote ambayo tunataka atufungulie Na sio tu hivyo anajieleza vizuri anasema ana uwezo kama ameshika ufunguo ana uwezo wa kufungua mlango na na mlango ambao ameufungua hakuna anayeweza kufunga kwa hivyo anajaribu kueleza nguvu zake na mamlaka yake milango ambayo imefungika akiufunga akiufunga hakuna anaweza kufungua kwa sababu yeye ndiye amepema ame, 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 ame ufunguo pia anaeleza mstari wa mstari wa anaeleza mstari wa wa nane anaeleza ya kwamba mimi ninajua matendo yenu hata kabla hata bila nyinyi kunielezea hata bila nyinyi kuni kuni, kuni kujaribu kunielezea ninamuelewa vizuri i know you are deeds i know you are deeds see i have placed before you a open door that no one can shut i also know that you are of little strength and yet you have kept my word and you have not denied my name kwa hivyo hata wakati huu bwana wa hukumu mungu anaangalia kanisa hili ambalo halitamkana halitasema ya kwamba nimemwachilia anaangalia mshirika huyu ambaye hata hatamkana hata kana jina lake hata kama mambo ni magumu wakati huu na kwa sababu ujumbe huu wa Yohana ni ujumbe ambao umebeba mambo mawili umebeba mambo ambayo iliyomo na mambo ambayo itakayokuja na kwa hivyo anasema kwamba mimi kwa 
wakati huu nimejua anaelezea kanisa hilo kina ndevya kwa wakati huu ninajua ya kwamba hakukukana jina langu na kwa hivyo anatafuta mtu na mshirika na mkristo na muaminiwa ambaye hata kana jina la Bwana nikiada ja siku ya leo sita sema ya kwamba kwa sababu Mungu amekosa kuondoa ugonjwa huu nitakana jina lake niseme ya kwamba sita kikulisikia jina la Bwana sita kikulisikia jina jina hili la Yesu Neno ya sema ya kwamba tukihaibika kumukiri mbele ya watu hata yeye atahaibika kutukiri mbele za Bwana ama mbele za baba yake mbele za Mungu atatukana na kwa hivyo siku ya leo ina, inasema ya kwamba wakati wa mateso wakati wa, wa, wa mateso wakati wa, 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 wa maumivu wakati wa uchungu Mungu wetu anasema Isaia 46 verse 1 ni msaada unaopatikana tele wakati wa shida na kwa hivyo huyu ambaye ninasugumuza baba yake anayesugumuza kuhusu kanisa hili nataka kukubatia mambo kama maine kama kama, kama sio matano ambaye anayosema kuhusu kanisa hili na kuhusu sisi siku ya leo nataka kukubatia mambo maine ama matano kabla sija kuombea siku ya leo ina dakika chache za kukuelezea mambo haya matano tunayopata katika sehemu hii na jambo la kwanza ambalo tutaelewa katika mstari wa nane anasema ya kwamba he will he always keep an open door for us he always keep an open door for you and for me and uh, na hivyo ndivyo anavyosema katika mstari wa nane see i have kept an open door kwa hivyo kuna wakati Mungu anafunga milango yetu kila wakati anafungua milango yetu na anasema ya kwamba Yesu akasema yoyote atakaye gonga atafunguliwa na kwa hivyo mlango wake uwazi kila wakati anahitaji mtu wa kugonga gonga ule mlango katika jina la Yesu na anasema ya kwamba si i have always it is not sometimes sio kwa muda usiku kwa siku moja sio kwa siku mbili i have always kept an open door for you he has always kept an open door for me he has always kept an open door for the church he has always kept an open door for the world and also our nation and today nataka kukuhakikishia ni kwambie kwamba anasugumuza nasi siku ya leo na anatuambia kwamba tayari ameweka mlango umeofunguka ninaomba kanisa tukaweze kutazama na tuweze kuangalia mlango huu mlango wa ponyaji umefunguka ungali uko wazi mlango wa kuinuliwa uko wazi mlango wa marekebisho uko wazi mlango wa wakomu uko wazi mlango wa msamaha uko wazi He has always kept an open door for us. Milango milango wa kuasiliana na yeye uko wazi. Milango wa kukaribia yeye uko wazi. Milango wa kusugumuza na yeye uko wazi. Na siku ya leo nataka kukwambia kwamba this is the message of the church today that he has always kept even in the 21 days na nimekuwa nikifikiria na niliona watu wengine wakisugumuza hayo nilisugumuza siku ya ya jumapili iliyopita nikasema ya kwamba pengine tuliwe tuliposikia covid 19 imefika na tukaona vile kwingine kumeenda na tukasikia rais anataka kufunga mambo machache kwa manufa yetu watu walinunua chakula wakaeka kwa nyumba waliweza kwenda kwa banku wakatoa pesa zingine wakaeka kwa simu zingine wakaeka chini ya, ma, ya, ya matresi 
lakini sana kwa muda wa miezi mbili nafikiria kile ambacho tulikuwa tumejiwekea kimekwisha kama mwanadamu na tunajiuliza itakuwaje siku hii sisi na moja na watu sema Mungu wetu aliyetupeleka siku hizo zote ndiye atakaye tupeleka na nikasema kwamba mwezi huu sikujua siku hizi zitaongezwa lakini nikasema mwezi huu tunahitaji neema kubwa ya kusafari na nikasema ya kwamba nikisaidiwa na Roho Mtakatifu this is the month of sufficient grace we need this grace to survive we need this grace to survive and it is my prayer as a as man of god ya kwamba mungu asifunge mlango huu wa neema hii ambayo tunahitaji when an open door is before you there are many opportunities ina inataka kutangaza nisemea ya kwamba mungu wetu ana opportunities nyingi zetu katika jina la yesu number 2 in verse number 9 he will make you your enemies whom claim to be yours to be ashamed when he comes to increase you when he comes to heal us the enemies about warisema africa tutakufa tutakufa tutakosa watu wa kuchukua maiti god will make those enemies to be ashamed because hakuna wakati ambapo unaweza tamuka maneno mabaya kuhusu mwingine kama wewe sio ndui yake. Na kwa hivyo yeyote ambaye anayesukumuza mambo mabaya kutuhusu, yeyote ambaye anayesukumuza mambo mabaya kuhusu familia yako, Mungu wetu atahakikisha ya kwamba he will shame them. Na anaelezea vizuri sana katika mstari wa 9, anaelezea vizuri na anasema ya kwamba because you have kept my word and you have not denied my name, I will make those who are the sinner of, of Satan. The, the Satan or the devil is our enemy. So he's saying, I will make those who are the, the, the uh, uh, who are of the sinner of the Satan, who claim to be Jews, though they are not but liars. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And, and, and even if this COVID-19 will is the, it is here to stay. Whether it is here to stay or it is it is uh it is the devil is always a liar. God will make a way for us. And he will make these people or your enemy, the enemy of your life, the enemy of your health, to be ashamed when he will protect us. When we will protect you, when we will protect the church, when we will protect everyone, when we will come to enlarge you, when we will come to bless you, when we will come to restore you, when we will come to keep you safe from any harm. He will always restore back your possession and you are vast fortunes and i would and i want to say what usipoteze tumaini don't lose hope don't lose hope there is still hope at the end of the tunnel number three in verse number ten help he will help he will help you in the hour of trouble trial in time of need in time of suffering in time of sickness, in times of discouragement, he will help you. He will help us as a nation. He will help us as a church. He will help us as a family. Even in this time. But number 10 and Asema, since you have kept my command, and you cannot keep the command unless you are faithful. So because you are faithful and you have kept his command, and I say, Ma, I will also keep you from the hour 
of trial. I want to keep you. I, 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 I am I'm, I'm understanding. This is the hour. This is the time of trial in our nation and also globally. But as a man of God, I have this to tell you. Ya kwamba mungu wetu atakuwa msaada wetu wakati ya bapo tunashida. And number four, not only ya kwamba atakuwa pamoja nasi wakati wa shida, he will also clown us. He will also come to crown you and crown me and crown our, our country if we continue keeping the command. If we continue keep uh, uh, to be faithful, to be pure, to be righteous. If we keep this command, at the end of it, at the end of this, he has set before us a crown. And this is a victorious crown. We will emerge as victorious and we will be crowned as victors. Katika Jabohiri, Katika Jina la Yesu. Na kuenda kumarizia. And I say, when I crown you, I will never again, never again, will he leave, leave it. I will write on, the, on, on, on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven. And I will also write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Lord is saying to the spirit is saying to the churches and this is the message today what wa mungu anaye sukumuza mambo haya si muongo anaye sukumuza mambo haya si muongo ni mwaminifu kiasi ya kwamba ataweza kutufanya tufauru na inakuombea katika jina la Yesu moyo wangu waenda kwa wale ambao wameachwa na wapendwa wao kwa sababu ya jambo hili Mwayo wangu waenda kwa wao Tuasema pole Lakini mungu wetu ni mwaminifu Katika padame gehi Na katika jambo hili Mungu wetu anajawabu Mimi sijui jawabu itatoka itakuja lini Lakini all what I know Ni kwaba kuna jawabu Ambao itakautokea Tukio waminifu You always keep an open door for us Hii mwrago ukifunga Atafungua mingini Katika jina la Yesu Na kwa hivyo mtazamaji wangu ambaye ninakupenda sana kwa sababu umekuwa pamoja nasi siku ya leo ninataka kukuombea wewe ambaye uko nyumbani wewe ambaye unasema milango yote imefunguka kwa nguvu na mamuraka na upapa wa Mungu amenupa inakuwa naomba kwamba Mungu akaweze kufungua mrango mwingine katika jina la Yesu nataka kuombea wewe ambaye unaniambia kwamba you are ashamed na mambo yale ambayo yamesunguka nchi yetu Kwa sababu wakati mwingine watoto wako wanakuuliza tumeamuka tutakunywa nini usiku umeingia tutakula nini siku ya leo inakuombea ili Mungu ataweza kutengeneza jia kwa sababu kuna jia nyingi ambazo Mungu anaweza anaweza kukufikia nazo katika jina la Yesu na inaomba ya kwamba hata zile msaada ambao umetolewa na watu ukafikia wale ambao wanashinda kwa wakati huu ninaomba kama mtumishi wa Mungu ya kwamba isieleze ingine ikafikia hao ambao wanaamuka wanauliza asubuhi imefika tutakula nini jioni imefika tutakunywa nini ninaomba kusiwe na jambo lingine na yule ambaye anampanga kale na huo Mungu wetu akaweza kusabaratisha mikutano kama ile msaada ambao umetolewa Mungu amesaidia wengine watatoa milioni yao ili walio wanyonge wakafikiwe na msaada ule na these are the doors that I'm talking about God always keeps an open door kuna watu ambao wanatoa milioni zao sikaweza kufikia wale na kwa hivyo kama mtumishi wa Mungu ninaomba ya kwamba sisi ende kando sikaweza kufikia wale watu katika jina la Yesu. Na kwa hivyo kwa sababu muda wangu unaisha. Nataka tuweze kusoma aneno aneno hili bila kuelezea. In the book of Hebrews chapter number 9 and verses number 12 and then I pray for you. Hebrews chapter number 9 uh, 6, sorry, Hebrews chapter number 6 
And verses number nine, then I close. Because we, we need to remain faithful to our God. Nine, twelve. Nine to twelve in a sema. Even though we speak like this, dear friends, we are confident of uh, we are confident of better things in your case. Things that accompany salvation. This is powerful. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. We want each of you to show the same diligence to the very end in order to make your hope sure. We do not want you to become rizzy, but to imitate those who through faith and patient, patience sorry, inherit what has been promised. There are many promises that our God has promised. Let's remain faithful to him and we will always keep an open door for us. Kwa hivyo, naomba wewe unais mtazama. Tukaweza kuomba na wewe katika jina la Yesu. Mungu wetu na baba wetu katika jina la Yesu siku ya leo. Tunataka kukuinua na kulibari kijina lako. Kaomba ya kwa mungu neno hili ya bao mesukumusa pa moja nasi. Wewe mwenye nguvu, wewe ambaye ni wakweli, wewe ni mtakatifu. Wewe ambaye na uwezo wa mambo yote. Wewe ulie uwa bingu na inchi. Wewe ulie... Uriye kuwa na Danieli, wewe uriye kuwa na Shadira Kmeshik na Berinego, wewe uriye kuwa na Paul na Shira, wewe uriye kuwa na Petero, wakati, wakati, wakati heroe, eh, alitaka kumariza kanisa. Mungu tunakuomba, miujize uriyo tenda ya katizide, ukaweze kuzitenda kwa wakati huu. Wana miyo yetu ya ina kwari ya bawa meate nwa pedo wawo, inaombe ya kuba mungu, ukaweze kuwa kubuka katika jina la Yesu. Pamoja na hayo, Mungu tuomba baraka zako juu ya wapendwa wetu. Ninaombea yule ambaye ni mgonjwa wa siku ya leo. Mungu wetu kwa nani watoka kwako? Bwana kuna anauliza jioni itafika itakuwaje? Ninaomba kwa mtu kama huyu ambaye baba wetu anaenda kuzimia, ninaomba baba wetu kamuinue katika jina la Yesu. Ukiwa katika kiti chako cha enzi, Mungu wetu katukubuke. Kubuka rehema zako. Kubuka rehema zako Bwana. Kubuka rehema zako hata kwa wakati huu. Tunapo kuitaji zaidi katika jina wa Yesu. Ni asanti baba wetu ni kwa sababu ya kila moja wetu. Ambaye bwana yuko katika nchi hii yetu tunaomba. Ukaweza baba wetu kutuliza mawimbi. Mawimbi ya, 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 ya mvua ambaye meleta mafuriko. Tawaba bwana uka, 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 ukaweze kutuliza mawimbi ya mafuriko. Katika jina la Yesu. Tawaba bwana uka, ukaweze kutuliza mawimbi ya magonjwa tofauti. Tunawa bwana ukaweze kutuliza ma mawimbi ya ukosefu katika jina la Yesu. Kwa baraka zako na neema yako ikaweze kuwa pamoja na watu wako. Naombea watu wa kanisa hili leo tuna progospel ya Jesu Kenya tumaini wasipashe bure wote mahali walipo bwana. Tuombea baraka zako. Kazi basi bizuye bwana ukawalinde ukawahifadhi ukawaficha mahali ya baba shetani hawezi wapata kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Ni asante ni kwa sababu bwana utatenda hivyo. Aliye chini bwana ukamuinue kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Walio wanahitaji milango ifunguke. Bwana leta milango hiyo yao ambayo imefunguka kwa maisha yao. Naombea watoto wetu kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Walinde bwana kwa sababu wewe ni mwema na mwamini. Fuata serikali yetu twaiombea siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu. Ni asanti kwa sababu unatupenda na unatujali kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Na kila mmoja ambaye amenisikia aseme amen katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Pena kushukuru mungu wetu, pena kusema ya kwaba mungu wetu akubariki, mungu wetu akuinue kwa sababu ya kutusikiza na kwa sababu mungu wetu ametupatia wakati mwema. Mungu wetu akuride na mulango wabao mefuguka bele zako, mungu wetu akaweze kukufugua matu ya kiloho, akaweze kuona katika jina la isu. Mwena wiki jema, mbalikiwe sana na mungu wetu awe pamoja nanyi, awatangulie, awanemishe na atube malaika wake, awe pamoja nanyi katika jina la Yesu ni katika jina la baba na la mwana na la mtakatifu amen amen
Yeah. 